stream. I'm just excited, so I wanted to uh, put it out real quick. I'll probably try to do something more formal to spread the word. So Antifa, who is Antifa? Who is BLM? Uh, so who they really are in terms of uh, like specific stuff that you can look up and track down, it is an organization in the in at least the United States chapters of it. It is composed. It is a it is a firewall. Antifa is a firewall that is not incorporated uh, for an organization called Democratic Socialists of America. Democratic Socialists of America is a nationwide nonprofit that has local chapters in every state and most states. They have multiple multiple cha- sub chapters in the major cities. So here in Missouri, for example, we've got chapters in Kansas City, St. Louis, mid mid Missouri, and then Lake of the Ozarks, and that's for Missouri. Uh, the Kansas City one has uh, like up to uh, 800 members. Um, Democratic Socialists of America nationally has really heavy hitters in there. We're talking law firm personnel, we're talking uh, politicians, state representatives are members, uh, state representatives of Connecticut, Pennsylvania are members, as well as uh, um, people in the House, people uh, that have uh, uh, connections to media. It's it's an extremely large organization, and uh, they are very old, too. So the, the... some of the chapters may be new depending on where they stand them up. The actual parent organization of this is the Socialist International, which is a international um, nonprofit group or a social engineering group uh, that has been around since 1951 and has had, uh, you know, leadership, including former prime ministers of Germany and uh, France. Okay, so we're talking like heavy hitter shit here, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, what in terms of uh, what these guys are internationally. Now, in the United States, uh, the Democratic Socialists of America is the parent organization, and then typically their names for their sub branches are going to be they're going to be like uh, typically the names for the sub branches are going to be like. Uh, Democratic Socialists of St. Louis or Democratic Socialists of Kansas City. Typically, they don't get super creative. They kind of keep the name convention the same. Yeah, they're in the Ozarks. They've got a small group down there. It's like 80 people. All right. Now, uh, this is who Antifa is. So these, these riots that are going on are actually being organized through Democratic Socialists of America. And they're just using the tag of Antifa along with coordination with the media, with the media to make something that's not traceable. Um, there is something else that you should know, and that is that Democratic Socialists of America, not only the individual chapters, but the national and international organization, are primarily Jewish. It's an v- extremely high percentage of Jews. Obviously, that's what's going to be there. But... Uh, this is what's important to understand. And so, uh, um, the other thing that's really important to understand is that the primary people that are looking at democratic socialists of America in terms of analysis are also Jewish. Okay. Now you could say you could take that to mean a couple of different things. The way that you should look at it is that maybe these sides aren't real. Okay. Uh, because you have uh, only one commonality between all the parties that are involved, and that's that they're Jewish, okay? Uh, Now, does that mean that Jews are uh, necessarily, you know, something that they're not? No. Each individual is responsible for their acts. But you would be very... if If you guide your understanding of this by looking at it like, oh, there's a left, they're socialists, oh, they're Jews, but then here's the right, they're so, you know, oh, some of them are Jews too. There must be, they must be good. That would be a mistake. What you need to do is stop thinking of things like good and bad and teams, and you just look at acts, and you look at what's really going on here. Because if you, if you provide both the problem and the solution, that's called control, 
Okay? You you paint the picture. There is no room for anybody else if you are both the problem and the solution. Okay? So I just want, hopefully you guys understand this. So is that was that clear enough in terms of description? It is absolutely, absolutely 100% the Democratic Socialists of America. And their peripherals make up BLM. They are huge. They are they are a fucking imminent threat to the United States. They're they're starting a new campaign now that uh, like quote Trump has lost end quote. They're starting a new a new campaign. They have members that are in government pretty much everywhere. They're not they're not majority in the government. They're in a minority, but they're very fucking secret. And you should understand by the nature of Antifa of how long you know like how the media will not identify Antifa and how journalists and stuff are having such a hard time like in law enforcement figuring out who Antifa is they are Democratic Socialists of America organization that is that is what it is they are using they are using the tag of Antifa to obfuscate their identity because they are the money moves through Democratic Socialists of America officially which then has receipt and uh, record and they have to have, you know, official staff and bylaw and things like that. So they don't want to operate under that name, Democratic Socialists of America, because then that opens up all their financial records that are public to review and it puts scrutiny on them. So they make they make a firewall by making a, uh, a group called Antifa. Antifa is Democratic Socialists of America interfacing with locals in the areas where they're setting up protests. And this is what's going on. And they are everywhere. And uh, I would recommend if, if like you wanna figure out some shit, I would find the closest chapter to you and go fucking start going through their trash and collecting their trash and getting all their documents and do it for as long as you can without getting caught uh, and be safe about it. And uh, I would assume that they're probably not like you know operative level uh opsec so i'm assuming they're probably throwing away all kinds of sensitive documents and shit i would find a local one in your area swing by there and grab their fucking trash swipe the trash just just start grabbing it on a regular basis like the day before trash day and uh go through the trash you know go to a dump somewhere go to the trash pull out all the paper get rid of all the uh shitty trash Pull the, pull the docs out of it and just start stacking them up and making a book. And that's what I would do. You're going to get all kinds of, all kinds of shit, numbers, correspondence, you know, financial figures, all kinds of shit. But that's what I would recommend. If you want to do something in your area right now, that's nonviolent to uh, resist this, you need to start pulling Intel on democratic socialists of America. Yeah. DSAD8 says dress as a vagrant and dig through their trash got it yeah you're correct you which is a great which is a great way i mean you can even drink you know what i mean how many ops can you drink on you get drunk as fuck it's only going to help you with your op if you get caught you can just be like you just be like there's camels in here i saw camel camel filters in the bottom of the can i know they're in there am i coming through at all i think i probably just got a lag What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? You got anything? You got anything? Or I'll wait until you come. Okay. You guys got any questions or anything? Oh, I guarantee you they'll have a fucking San Diego chapter. Yeah. I'm sure that they have all kinds of Republican tie-ins. I guarantee you. Guaranteed it. All right, that's right. That's right, Luke. Thanks. Appreciate it. Luke, if you could somehow get that out there, uh, that would be great. Like a nice short, it's a nice short video telling people where to look, find the fucking people that are destroying the United States actively on the ground.
Yeah, don't fall in the trap of the left-right paradigm. The right, the fucking right is controlled too. They are the solution to the problem of socialism. You get what I'm saying? That's how they guide you. They know that you don't like socialism as a, as a giant mass, so they push it as hard as they possibly can and try to get as far as they can. If they actually achieve socialist acceptance, well, that's great. You're just a weak society that's easy to take over. But they expect you to uh, conflict with it and look around like a rat that's drowning the entire game. And then, they, and then they guide you into fucking controlled destruction.